Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan's joint royal monogram pays tribute to Princess Diana, their official. Prince Harry and Duchess Meghan, name Markle, have a joint royal monogram that honors his late mother, Princess Diana. Georgie Gardner, host of Australia's The Today Show, showed off the cipher on Wednesday, July 25 which appeared on a thank you note she received from the couple after gifting them a picnic blanket for their main nuptials. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex combined the H and M in their names under a coronet and the royal blue symbol. The design seems to be a tribute to Diana as Harry's own monogram, which he had made in January 2017, also features the late royal's favorite color. Dear Georgie, we wanted to write and thank you so much for the incredibly thoughtful wedding gift. The duo wrote in the typed letter, We are both delighted that you would think of us during this special time and greatly appreciate your kindness. We apologize for the delay in getting this letter to you, but as you can hopefully understand it has been a very busy time for us. Thank you again for your kind gift, we are incredibly touched. They personally signed the sweet note, All the best, Harry and Meghan, showing off the former lifestyle blogger's stylish signature. The Suits Alum, 36 who used to work as a calligrapher, released her own monogram in May. It is styled similarly to Harry's and features a simple black M underneath a coronet. Days after her wedding to the Captain General Royal Marines, 33, Kensington Palace revealed Meghan's custom coat of arms. The design of the arms was agreed and approved by Her Majesty the Queen and Mr. Thomas Woodcock, Garter King of Arms and Senior Herald in England, who is based at the College of Arms in London. The palace told Us Weekly in a statement on May 25, noting that the newly minted royal worked closely with the College of Arms to create a personal design representative of her Los Angeles roots. It features two rays, an nod to the Sunshine State, Golden Poppies, California's official flower, and a blue background to reflect the Pacific Ocean. The Duchess of Sussex took a great interest in the design. Woodcock said in the statement, Good heraldic design is nearly always symbol and the arms of the Duchess of Sussex stand well behind the historic beauty of the quartered British royal arms. Heraldry as a means of identification has flourished in Europe for almost 900 years as is associated with both individual people and great corporate bodies such as cities, universities and for instance the livery companies in the City of London.